When you get older, it's all downhill. That can easily become a self-fulfilling prophecy. I teach this class at Harvard. We have no idea what our limits are, and we're severely limiting ourselves across the board. And that hypothesis set the stage for 50 years of research. But the very first was the counterclockwise study. We found a timeless retreat that we retrofitted to 20 years earlier and had these elderly men live there as if they were their younger selves. So they spoke about past events as if they were just happening. And all the magazines and books, TV shows that they watch were from the past, but responded to as if it was just now. The results were sort of amazing. It was less than a week. Their vision improved, their hearing improved, their strength, their memory, and they look noticeably younger, all without any medical intervention. And so then fast forward 50 years of data shows that many of the things that we think we can't do any longer actually can be reversed. But this one person was arguing, you can't turn the clock back. Well, literally, we're not turning the clock back. You, know, yeah. you were still born when you were born. But the point of it is that most of our abilities, we don't know how far we can actually push things. I'm 78 years old. I don't have any sense of myself as 78. My desire, perception of my abilities is not influenced by my age. But to live in a world where you presume whatever it is is going to either stay the same or get worse is very sad. And the consequences of being in one state of mind or the other are enormous.